Hey guys, my name is E. I'm a sports videographer and a lot of people watch my YouTube channel because ultimately they'd love to be able to edit sports videos like this one. The Andrew Redmayne can now make the save for the next kick. Australia will be going to the World Cup. What typically stops people from getting to that level is that they automatically assume that it takes a lot of money and a lot of time to get there. But what if it didn't? What if there was an editing software out there right now that is extremely easy to learn, that is free to try, and that recently added a bunch of features that finally make it a true professional solution? Well, here comes the sponsor of today's video, Wondershare Filmora. They just released Filmora 12, which I used to edit the video you just watched. So let's get into the edit so I can show you some of the features that I've been using so far, and then I'll give you my overall take on the Filmora 12. First of all, as far as the overall experience is concerned, Filmora 12 is much more efficient than before. They've updated the workspace layouts, um, the browsing experience as well, and the keyboard shortcuts in a way that is very similar to what I'm used to with Premiere Pro. They even have Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro shortcut presets, which makes it super easy for me to transition to Filmora 12 for the first time and quickly feel comfortable with it. And obviously it works the other way as well. So if you start with Filmora and eventually decide to move on to Premiere or Final Cut, that transition will be much easier than ever before. For example, one of the features that Filmora took to another level with the uh, version 12 is what they call enhanced keyframes. In version 11, keyframes only worked with limited effects like size, position, and rotation. But now you can add keyframes basically anywhere. So those little green dots are where I would normally add keyframes. So uh, scale, position, rotate, that's pretty normal. But now if you go to color, you can add keyframes in your color temperature, your tint, brightness, contrast, whatever you want. And in every other effect as well, you can play with keyframes, which is great. Um, the only thing I'm not super excited about is the fact that they didn't add any uh, keyframe uh, interpolation options. Um, by default in Filmora, the only option is a linear interpolation, but uh, it would have been great to have, um, you know, ease in, ease out, that sort of thing. This is what you can usually do in Premiere and After Effects. It would have been cool to see it in here as well, but, you know, at least there's keyframes everywhere now, which is a massive upgrade. Another feature that I use in my hype video is the ability to draw a mask. You can now create freeform shapes in Filmora using the Draw Mask tool. And uh, I use this to basically get rid of, uh, if you look at this guy's t-shirt, there was um, these letters there, not that they're, you know, they're not saying anything they shouldn't be saying. I'm not too sure what they mean, but I don't think they mean anything bad, but it was just to show you that by adding a mask, we can get rid of stuff in a way that is unnoticeable. So basically I took the bottom of his shirt, the black spot, pushed it up, put a position and scale keyframes at the start and finish of the clip. And that way, when you play it, it's like nothing happened. Masking a word out of someone's t-shirt in sports is not something that you do a lot, but I just wanted to show you quickly the new masking abilities. But um, normally um, when you're masking you, in sports, it's, it's typically around a player or around a ball because you want to separate uh, the player or the ball from the background. So I'm going to show you a much cooler way to do this in Filmora 12. So if we take this clip, for example, this guy who's about to take a penalty, let's separate it from the background using um, Filmora's brand new tool, the AI Smart Cutout. Okay, so basically if I copy paste this clip, and uh, yes, so the second clip, the one on top, I'm gonna select AI Tools, and then Smart Cutout, and open this. So now um, I've got a brush here, so 
basically what we're doing is something called rotoscoping. So by a simple brush stroke, the AI did a pretty great job uh, by the looks of it. Uh, so now all that's left to do really is just to start the tracking by pressing this button and see if it gets it right. And if it doesn't, then we can just fix the mistakes uh, afterwards. I'll show you how. All right, I can see that it didn't really pick up the, the badge. All right, so now let's try again. I think it went fine from the moment that I did this, but not before. So I'm gonna play it backwards from here. I think if I go in advanced mode, Yes, track reverse. I don't think it was perfect, but we can do it manually as well. So, and by the way, if it did went, uh, go too far and you want to erase, you just have to click this and then you can erase whatever you need to erase. But in our case, uh, we want to add more than anything. And, and you can play with the size of the brush as well. Anyway, let's assume that this is great. Press OK. And now, as you can see, if I hide the layer underneath, this guy is separated on the top layer. So what I can do now, let's play with colors, for example. Um, let's add uh, LUTs because it'll be just quicker. Um, yeah, these are my favorites. So if we go with my MVP LUT on this guy to make him stand out a bit, and if we want it to stand out even more on the bottom layer, I can, uh, yeah, put it black and white, render it so you guys can see it properly. And now if we play it, That was pretty good. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed that, to see a tool like that in Filmora 12 because Premiere Pro, Final Cut, as far as I know, don't have any rotoscoping tools. You have to get to like After Effects or something like that to, to use rotoscoping. So to have it in Filmora is a very big deal. So anyway, the last new feature I want to talk about is one that I was really excited to finally see in Filmora. I'm talking about adjustment layers. I use adjustment layers all the time for various reasons, but the main one is to color grade my entire sequence. So the way my sequence is at the moment, uh, I haven't graded it yet, so let's do it uh, live together. So if I add an adjustment layer, uh, obviously I want to do the entire sequence. So double click on the on the adjustment layer. I'll add um, a LUT uh, because I'm going for a cinematic look. I'll add my Hall of Famer. Yeah, this is the one, although it's a bit intense at full uh, opacity. So if I go back to the layer properties, I'll take the layers opacity down to say, yeah, 69 <laughs> should be all right. Uh, yeah, that works. So from there, if we want to give it the look that you guys saw at the beginning, which was very cinematic, um, let's go into the project. I got this film grain here that I'm pretty sure I got in motion array. So if I go into the properties of this thing in video um, basic, I'll play with the blending mode. Uh, hard light, I think is the best way to go with this one. And now that I've got it, I can uh, copy paste it basically. And okay, and then I'll add another adjustment layer on top of that. And to that layer, I will add the uh, black bars. So 
if I go into effects and in overlay frame cinema. And that, that is all included inside Filmora, by the way. So there's a bunch of frames, bunch of overlays, bunch of effects. And yeah, here we go. So overall, I really like my experience with the Filmora 12. Um, it's not perfect by any means, but I don't think any editing platform really is. The best thing about it is definitely the fact that even if you're a full-blown beginner making your very first edit, uh, it won't take you long to get comfortable with the layout and start producing very decent videos. And as you get more and more comfortable with it, there are enough features and effects packed in there to allow you to create high level stuff, even professional work. Like I said before, the fact that you have access to rotoscoping is pretty cool considering you usually need something like After Effects to do this. But there are also a bunch of other AI powered effects included in Filmora that I didn't go through today, but they basically allow you to do all sorts of cool effects quite easily. So again, Perfect for beginners who are after quick results. One thing I didn't like, other than the lack of a keyframe interpolation, like I said before, is the fact that you can't have multiple timelines or sequences per project. That's because in Filmora, your timeline basically is your project. And this is probably not a big deal for most people, but for me, let's say I'm editing like a long form video, like a one hour documentary. I like to compartmentalize by having like a, a sequence for my intro, a sequence for like my, my first segment, which is an interview or something, then another segment that's a, a separate sequence again, and so on and so on. And at the end, just put all these sequences together into a, a super sequence or a final one. Or what I like to do as well is if I have like a, a rough cut of my edit that I'm sort of happy with, and then I wanna either change something or add some sort of complex effect or sort of, you know, a new thing that I want to add, but I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to like it or if it's going to work. Then before I get into all of that, I'm going to create a copy of my sequence, then start working on my new idea so that if somewhere down the line, I realize that it's not working, I can just delete that sequence basically and revert back to the original. So I guess in Filmora, I can do that with projects in turn, in, instead of sequences, but I don't know, it just gets messy. But like I said, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's, it's more a me thing than a general thing, but yeah, definitely not a deal breaker. So bottom line is since you can try the full version of Filmora 12 for free, the best thing you can do is just download it today, try it and see for yourself if you like it or not. So obviously I'll put a link in the description below that will take you to the free download. So go check it out and make sure you let me know in the comments your own feedback.